Hi guys, this is Neo, the Schnoodle lead dev and CTO, coming at you from a very different setting uh, to uh, where I'm usually uh, broadcasting from, which is often a boat or a tropical island or indeed my home. Um, so I'm in a very nice office, as you can see behind me, um, with this very nice staircase, which uh, we may take a walk up and down later uh, if we have time. Um, but I, I just want to give you a quick update because um, there's a lot going on in the background at the moment, as you already know. Um, I'm working hard every single night coding the, the chain bridge to uh, Binance Smart Chain, uh, which is obviously out in the open now. Uh, it's no secret that we are going to be launching on Binance Smart Chain very, very soon, uh, as soon as uh, testing is finished on Testnet. Um, as you know, I've been committing a lot of updates in GitHub lately uh, to do with the server, um, which is the back end of the DAP, uh, for those who understand uh, client server uh, um, stack technology, and um, also the smart con contracts. Uh, they were committed into GitHub last night. Um, so there is a hell of a lot of work going on, a lot of code being committed, a lot of code being written. We've had BNR group. Uh, based in Russia helping us out a lot um, which uh, which has tremendously progressed um, our our velocity um, and um, yeah there, there are going to be more chains uh, launched after that and uh, we've already got uh, a tender agreed with BNR group to um, uh, to do that for us um, which those other chains are um, that's going to remain a mystery for now but I do take note uh, of uh, some of the comments on the telegram chat um, there was a question this morning from someone about uh, FTM uh, Phantom um, and one of the things you kind of realize uh, when um, investigating and programming and implementing these uh, these platforms and these bridges is uh, you get a you get a sense and a feel for what's really um, uh, in the, in the minds of people out there as, as the viable chains and what's technically possible uh, in in not not just from people like holders and the community members but also uh, what 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 sort of chains are widely supported now uh, you, some. Of some of you who have been following my tweets may have noticed I mentioned Morales recently. Now they support uh, Ethereum, of course, Binance Smart Chain, but also Avalanche, uh, Arbitrum, and Phantom. Uh, Gnosis Safe, they don't support Binance Smart Chain, but they do support uh, some uh, Polygon, Ethereum, of course, uh, and uh, others uh, that I've mentioned as well. Um, and you, you kind of see which ones, which chains cross cut against. The most platforms and that kind of gives you a sense of well, which ones are, are the most supported which ones are the most recognized by the big names uh, the big technical platforms like Morales and like Gnosis Safe um, so um, uh, so when when Phantom was mentioned this morning it al already uh, triggered a, a sort of bell in my head with, uh, with the fact that it's already in my radar um, so I'm not saying if it's one of the next two chains. I'm not saying it isn't, um, and uh, but uh, it's definitely something uh, that um, we're going to be looking at seriously alongside of all the other chains. We did decide on on uh, the three chains, but because we are dynamic and because we do change our uh, decisions and our strategy as the landscape changes and as the market changes, uh, anything. Um, can, can change at any given time. Nothing is really set in stone until um, it goes to production. Um, so that's the, the chain stuff. Um, yeah, marketing, uh, I'm not going to give much more of an update on that than Roman has already given because there's a lot going on on, on that front and I've been having uh, several phone calls with him today. Uh, Olaf is also working with him on that as well. Um, but we, we are coming close uh, to some uh, major decisions on that, on that front and we've got the funds, we've got the uh, treasury um, and uh, um, uh, it's just about choosing how to spend that wisely because we don't want to just throw money at marketing and hope for the best, we want it to be a, a very finely tuned, uh, targeted, focused strategy with all the due, due diligence behind it as possible. 
Um, and then there's also the NFT platform, of course, and we are uh, recruiting for that aggressively. Uh, we're trying to get 3D artists on board that can help us, and we've got we, we've had many applicants. Um, there are uh, I spoke to Roman earlier today, who's managed who's managing that process, and uh, there are three uh, very um, good candidates um, in the running at the moment. Um, uh, but that's also separate to front-end development recruitment as well. Um, so we're, we're, we're also looking at that as well, as you know. Um, now, we have got someone on board already um, that, we're, that we're trialing uh, that's a very good developer. He's got a very similar profile to myself. Um, he's worked in investment banking, and he's already started looking at the code, and, um, and, and uh, hopefully he's going to come up with some really cool and big ideas uh, for um, uh, the DAP um, and uh, our Web3 uh, um, part of the applications uh, that we have. Uh, so for, for those who don't know what Web3 is, it's basically um, the way we communicate uh, through uh, decentralized services such as blockchain. Um, and uh, that's how the DAP works with uh, Ethereum. It uses a Web3 interface uh, or Web3 libraries to communicate with uh, the Ethereum blockchain and also uh, the Binance Smart Chain because they're, they're, they're very similar. Um, they're, they're both EVM compatible. Um, so that's it really. I just wanted to uh, give you um, a bit of an update um, on, on various things. Uh, just show my face as well because I, I appreciate I've been offline for a few weeks because I've been working hard with with the code and getting back to normal after my two months uh, gallivanting around the world as well. Um, and uh, yeah, we, I, I want to also um, just express my uh, sincere thanks and gratitude for all the support um, that the community have been given giving to us um, we are working very hard uh, I think most of you recognize that as well um, there, are, there have been a few rogue uh, um, people uh, rogue holders um, maybe the holders maybe they're not holders but certainly people who uh, have been coming into the chat and saying some not so nice things as well um, uh, some of those relating to memes age um, and uh, uh, you, you, you can never really understand the motivations uh, or the motives behind these people because um, uh, they, they don't tell you. Uh, they just start blaming the team or the devs or the community or anything they can blame except for themselves for what I pro think is probably just their losses. Uh, they, they bought the top or bought a local top and uh, they're underwater and you know um, they're not experienced they're probably generally uh, younger people who are quite new to crypto and business in general and you know not knowing what the parking symbol means or what Kira or corn is in social media I mean it's 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 quite ridiculous because you know what have they built we have built an entire cryptocurrency we've built an entire ecosystem we've coded it up from the ground up um, and it, 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 it's out there and it works it's it's phenomenal and you know whilst it not may have reached the the heights of shib or doge yet um you know we're, we're it's, it's it's only six months old and we're building a foundation and you know how many companies outside of crypto reach um, millions of dollars of capitalization in, in the first few months uh, it, it's 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 incredible really this is what crypto is but it is a hype market so um, we have to be careful not to um, make sh schnoodle become part of that um, pump and dump uh, uh, paradigm um, and make sure that it's a sustainable project otherwise it will die before it even gets off the ground and that's what we don't want so you know schnoodle is a slow burner I, I, I think we've made no secret of that from the beginning um, but we're going to get these uh, people come in and and uh, give us a hard time uh, that's just uh, how the cookie crumbles I guess um, so anyway that's it for me uh, thank you for listening and sorry if I've rambled on a little bit but I, I did want to give an update uh, you've probably seen me in a bit, bit of a different light now uh, I've had a shave my hair is uh, done a little bit differently I'm wearing a suit 
uh, but I'm on uh, a bit of business uh, right now. So thank you very much, and um, I'll speak to you in the chat. Bye.